Pokemon, how to play. I will be using the Pokemon Fire Red game for demonstration, but these instructions will cover the basic concepts found in all the Pokemon games. The object of the game is to collect all the gym badges and beat the Elite Four and Champion while simultaneously trying to capture all the Pokemon found in the game. There are also many side quests and minigames you can discover by talking to the various people in the game. Launch a new game and pick your starter Pokemon. Every Pokemon is a specific type or mixture of types. Each type has weaknesses and strengths. For example, fire is weak against water moves, and water is weak against electric moves. Some types aren't affected by other types. Every Pokemon also has six stats determining their various strengths, which are as follows. Hit points, attack, special attack, defense, special defense, and speed. Combat stats correlate directly with the Pokemon's moves. Each move is a specific type, as well as being categorized as either a physical move or special move. Physical moves look at the attack and defense stat, while special moves look at the special attack and special defense. The power level of each move indicates how strong the move is. Moves also have an accuracy stat to determine how likely the move will hit. Each move has a limited amount of power points called PP. Each time a move is used, it uses up 1 PP. You may not use a move with 0 PP. To determine how much damage a Pokemon takes, the game looks at both Pokemon's levels, your Pokemon's attack or special attack stat, the opponent's defense or special defense stat, and the move's effective power. Then it applies any multipliers like type advantage. The damage then gets taken off the opponent's hit points. When a Pokemon's hit points reach zero, the Pokemon will faint and can no longer be used until it is revived. Each Pokemon also has a special ability which can aid them in battle. During battle, Pokemon take turns using moves. The Pokemon that has the higher speed stat usually goes first. Each turn, your Pokemon may use one of its four possible moves, or you can swap out to another Pokemon, or you can use an item, or you can run away. In a wild battle, in order to capture new Pokemon, you will typically need to weaken your opponent and then throw a Pokeball. In a trainer battle, the goal is to knock out all of your opponent's Pokemon before they knock yours out. Using type advantages is key to beating stronger Pokemon. If you win, you will earn money. You will encounter wild Pokemon in tall grass, caves, water, and sometimes by interacting with them in the world. You encounter trainer battles by talking to people or walking in front of them. Whenever another Pokemon is defeated, all your Pokemon who fought against that Pokemon will earn experience. Experience causes your Pokemon to level up. Each time they level up, their stats will increase and they may even learn a new move. Most Pokemon, but not all, will evolve into a stronger Pokemon at a specific level. The level is different for each Pokemon, and some Pokemon can evolve multiple times. During evolution, you can press the B button to postpone the Pokemon from evolving until their next level up. Unevolved Pokemon typically learn new moves quicker than their evolved counterparts. Be aware that some Pokemon only evolve from items, friendship, in-game events, or trading, to name a few. If any of your Pokemon faint or are low on HP, you can bring them to a red-roofed Pokemon Center to get your entire party healed. Healing at a Poke Center also restores all moves PP for all your Pokemon. Your party can hold any number from 1 to 6 Pokemon. All other Pokemon you capture will be stored in the PC and you can swap out Pokemon to change out your party as often as you desire. You can also rearrange the order of your party to control which Pokemon starts off each battle in the number one slot. The blue roofed buildings are the Pokemarts and the location where you can purchase and sell items. Some items may only be used in battles while others may never be used in battles. Pokemon can also hold one item, which can aid them. There is so much depth and details to the game for you to explore and have fun with and learn as you go along.
I encourage you to check out the Pokemon Wiki, Bulbapedia, as a great resource for diving into anything you could ever want to know about Pokemon. If you're looking to step up your game, I recommend researching effort values. And if you're new to my channel and enjoy all types of games, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my quick and concise how to play videos.